Hello everyone, this is Mohan Royal. Today we are going to see about car wiper mechanism. This is our wiper assembly created with the principle of basic uh, four bar mechanism. This mechanism converts a rotary motion of a motor to oscillatory motion which is responsible for back and forth movement of wiper blades. These are the parts I have created for this mechanism. Uh, come on, let's get into the session. Currently we are in a kinematics workbench. I am starting with the fix. Select new mechanism. Uh, why I am selecting this mechanism is uh, like uh, for kinematics we should have one fix and one command to simulate the mechanism. That's why I am starting with fix. Okay, renaming the mechanism as you want. And okay, I am selecting here uh, the motor as a fix part. Then uh, I will choose revolute. It is asking for line 1 and plane 1. For line I am selecting this link center axis then motor center axis then side face offset uh, we must give uh, angle driven then ok the mechanism can be simulated ok with the help of that uh, angle driven command only this mechanism is going to uh, simulate i am selecting uh, kinematics with com simulation with command ok it's working fine um, ok click reset then close here I am double clicking the revolute joint. Here after we are going to give a revolute only. Revolute and uh, rigid. So I am double, double clicking the revolute joint. Selecting the center axis of the uh, dark blue. Then light blue. Then side face of the link on. Then link to. Then select offset. No need to give angle driven. Then ok. This is why I have, I have double clicked the uh, revolute joint. Ok, then I am selecting the center axis of link 1 and link 2, then side face of link 1 and link 2, uh, same offset, then ok. Mm, then uh, the mechanism should be in a continuation, so I am going to give uh, uh, next joint for that uh, amber color and then the cyan, cyan color linkage. Ok, I am selecting the center axis of the amber one first. Then uh, the cyan color, then the side face of the linkage on, and then side face of the linkage two. Then give offset, then OK. 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 Then I am going to the left side. Same. I am going to select the side face of the cyan color, then the center axis of the amber color. Select the side face of the cyan then side face of the amber offset then ok no need to give angle driven you can simply click ok then uh, here I first I am going to uh, fix that uh, pivot point that yellow one so I am just giving rigid to the motor and then uh, that up pivot then ok then again I am going to use this uh, Rowlet command here we have a degree of freedom 4 left so we need to make it 0 ok for that uh, if you give a Rowlet on both the ends I hope it will come to zero. So I am selecting the revolute. Select the center axis, then yellow color center axis, side face of the yellow one, then side face of the amber. Offset, then OK. Yeah, you see the degree of freedom uh, came to two. So again, I am going to use the revolute, center axis of the amber one, then center axis of the yellow one, side face, offset, OK. Yeah, the mechanism can be simulated. Okay, almost we have completed this mechanism. Let's check how it is working. So selecting uh, simulation with commands. I make it in make it in a uh, plain view. Yeah, it is working fine. Uh, one thing I forgot. Uh, we need to give uh, joints to the wiper uh, arm. For that I am using a rigid wiper arm and then the amber on. And okay mechanism can be simulated the same thing you are going to do here also 
starting both and then okay mechanism can be simulated okay cancel okay here uh, i'm going to hide the constraints it is little bit disturbing okay again hide okay okay degree of freedom came to zero okay almost we have done everything consulting the simulation with the command mm, okay it is working fine but here we have a restriction up to 360 only i'm going to change that by simply double clicking on the revolute joint uh, in positive i'm going to change into three uh, i'm not good in max so i'm simply put into three so it will automatically take the value Mm, okay it is working fine uh, yeah it is working fine it's not exactly the same as the car wiper but it these are the principles how it is working uh, begin the screen okay then uh, here <coughs> now i'm going to tell about the trace this is what the automobile engineers are doing information okay for that uh, we need to record this uh, mechanism <coughs> okay for that we need to use that uh, simulation after that we need to use the compile simulation first we need to record it select car wiper mechanism then ok here we need to select automatic inset then uh, uh, we can simply click the uh, arrow button it will automatic automatically uh, record those values okay if you want to do it in manual uh, we need to uh, select and we need to uh, add insert 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 like that for mechan mechanical reset then close then okay now we need to use the compile uh, simulation so it will uh, store under our uh, mechanism node only so renaming it as a viper okay okay it is compiling Yes, now it will come under our tree structure. Then if you use trace, it will work now. Okay, for trace, uh, we, we can choose uh, point or line. Here I am going to use uh, point. So I am selecting this edge and then this one, this corner. Okay. The same in the LH side also. <coughs> Here I am using uh, four points. Okay. It will uh, create a new part of the trace value. So I make it in a side view. Yes, this is how it will uh, travel on a Viper windscreen. Okay, we can uh, simply copy this stress too, and we can uh, insert under our uh, uh, product. Okay, now here I am pasting it. Okay, here it is. Came. Okay, uh, I have uh, disabled the points and lines. So we need to enable it. I'm going to settings. Here I am enabling the wire and the points. Uh, no need points, I think. Wire is enough. Then OK. Uh, OK, this is the value how it will uh, travel in the car screen. OK, guys. OK, friends, this is all about our uh, today's uh, video. Uh, please do like, subscribe and share. Thank you.